Singapore General Hospital, established in 2021, is the largest acute tertiary care hospital in Singapore and amongst the world's best. We are from the Histopathology Laboratory under the Department of Anatomical Pathology. Histopathology is a field of study that involves examining under the microscope tissues and cells to understand the abnormalities and changes that occur in diseases. We want to use artificial intelligence to study a relatively common breast tumour or growth called fibroblastic lesions. This usually presents as painless lumps in the breast. Distinguishing between fibroadenomas and phalloidous tumour can be challenging because of overlapping features and yet they have different clinical management. It is hence very important for the pathologist to carefully examine the lesion under the microscope to distinguish between fibroadenomas and phalloidous tumour. In SGH, we have the capability to readily produce high-quality, high-resolution slide images, which is also called whole slide images. This is done by digitizing the glass slides with tissue samples that is cut into thin sections mounted onto the glass slides. This digitization capability allows us to build a strong foundation which is important for computer analysis using artificial intelligence. We develop a computer vision model to analyze the whole slide images to distinguish between FAs and PTs. This first of its kind model has two stages. The first stage will generate smaller image patches from the large whole slide images to identify the characteristics of the two types of lesions. In the second stage, the computer analysis are then combined to look at the arrangement of these smaller image patches and then to produce the predictions of whether it is FAs or PTs across the entire whole slide image. The AI solution acts as a second eye and works alongside the pathologist. The pathologist will incorporate the results of the AI analysis into his own assessment and allow a more comprehensive evaluation of the biopsy sample. This will help the pathologist actually improve the diagnostic accuracy, reduce human errors, and improve the diagnostic efficiency. The AI model produces a diagnostic accuracy which is overall about 87.5%, with 80% and 95% accuracy in distinguishing FAs and PTs respectively. Our preliminary findings assess that about 5 minutes are required for model inference as compared to 15 minutes required for initial evaluation by a pathologist. This may bring significant cost savings, reduce the need for surgical management, and reduce the anxiety of the patients. In histopathology, obtaining a large number of high-quality, well-annotated data can be challenging. We are fortunate to have a strong foundation in research on fibrothelial lesions that allow us to readily accrue the materials required for digitization. As the timeline is short, we need to work closely with AI Singapore to come up with an efficient data annotation pipeline. We are able to achieve the initial objectives of the project in this short timeline through close collaboration between AI Singapore and Singapore General Hospital. The key highlight of this project is actually obtaining the model and seeing it in action and also understanding the inner workings of the model through the technology transfer sessions with AI Singapore. The project has received recognition through publication in the Laboratory Investigation Journal, which is a reputable journal in the field of pathology. We had a very positive experience working with the AI Singapore team. As pathologists, we bring expertise and experience in interpretation of histopathology samples, understanding disease process and the clinical implications. On the other hand, AI Singapore team possesses expertise in machine learning, AI algorithm development and data analysis, and they also bring in the experience in project management to bring the project to fruition. I think we have been able to combine our strengths synergistically to meet the objectives of the we are also pleasantly surprised that the AI algorithm could be developed within a relatively short period of time with high quality of output. We are currently discussing and working internally and with potential external partners to see if we can package the solution into a program that can be readily deployed in not only our laboratory but also in other laboratories in Singapore as well as the region.